got Long, Long Island, of course, Westchester, uh, Westchester the host. Mm -hmm. And we got here. CT. Yep. Jesus Christ. And Long Island came in droves. Oh, shit. <coughs> what? Key's going crazy. What Key do? Key beat DTP. That's what's up. That's fire. Now Key has to fight Ling. I'm not going to lie, bro. Ling on notice. Yeah, Ling, Ling on notice. Either Anyways. way here, I mean, I'm used to seeing Ling versus any Ness. Cause that's a clinic. There's a oh my, that's a wait. Snitch. What message y'all have in CT? Uh, Tony pajamas. Oh duh, Tony. I'm like I, I'm talking <laughs> okay. like I don't go to reboot all the fucking time. It's all good. I we're love you, gonna, Tony. We're not gonna clip this, right? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> love you, Tony. Yeah, but the crazy thing, right? Ling in a Smash Four combo video it was like 99% him just combo and Ness. Damn. It, it was like, why is this even a video, bro? He just doesn't <laughs> like. The, he hates Ness. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like surgical. I mean, oh god, oh my gosh. Think about surgical, not up smash. Precise. Exactly, and, and I, there's plenty of odds to study for this matchup. But Cody, a very different player. Definitely so. I mean, yeah, screw vods. Like they make their own vods a lot. <laughs> Playing at Emporium or Aeon. Not to mention Cody, also a different monster than Link. A lot more combo, a lot more ladder combo focused than uh, yes. than Link is. Exactly. I'm those upper combos are crazy. Those upper zero to death. Yep. If you're slacking, and you're lacking for a little bit on him, you don't expect it. Oh, that's a turn up. Oh yep. Oh. But like the scariest thing about Cody isn't even his combos, in my opinion. It's his ledge trapping. Cody's ledge trapping. I've I've seen it. Every time I've seen it, and then I dealt with it for the first time once, so I was just like, I never want to be, get me off this ledge. Get me out of this game. Matter of fact, shake my hand. I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm good. I do not want right to deal here. with this. Just immediately catches the roll. He just holds that position with the short float. Mm-hmm. And look at that, bro. He just knows to put the hitbox out. Not scared about getting clipped by that. Oh, what a tech by Chris. And it's just right back to it. You are 100% you are correct. Well, and I, I see Link play this matchup. He's always like, yep, I guarantee the, the edge guard because I did a combo video. I'm just this. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Cody's really sticking. And even with these dares, you know, a very non committal allows you to set up that ledge trap. Ooh. Hold on, Chris. Playing the PK in a name, you know. Dang, he definitely knows. He's looking like really crisp with uh, all these reads, these dares, little combo extensions. But, you know, of course, this is Cody with the up air is going to pull through. Indeed. Not looking great. Very good back air. I like, yeah, I was going to say, the fact that he, you know, pushed past, it's an option only really Peach has to do. I mean, some other characters, yep. too, but. Yep. And that's all she wrote. That was a two stock. <laughs> we one at that. That was, that was all, all there. Wait a fucking second. I just. I, he's going, he was going crazy today. Yeah, Deception. yeah, I know. I know. Oh my God. Yeah, it happened. Unfortunate, <clears throat> unfortunate couple of brackets too, right? Because last time he went like, you know, I'm not going to speak it. Listen, he, he, he had the Kirby. Happens to everyone, bro. Happens to everyone. He, he costs like you can't be, um, you can't be sleeping. No, you cannot. Not when he's in the picture. Mm -hmm. He began better too. But, mm -hmm. And at this point in time, we got, same thing. PS2, though. PS2, PS2 really right, I like it. I like I mean, it. We really got to see. I really just think that as long as he's not on this, this edge, he has more space to play with. Mm -hmm. Right? So, well, like Battlefield just being kind of short has that top flat. It's not even just that it's short. It's just that there's so much room for Cody to cover, like, uh, you know, Ness's landing. <coughs> but the main thing, you keep this little boy in disadvantage, and he just can't do nothing. Yeah, he's he don't got the range. He don't got the, the disadvantage options. This dude's taking nothing so far. I mean, five percent only because of a trade that ended up with Chris on stage, and, and he's just waiting for you to slip up. Look at that. Damn, he, look at even that. all these hits, they're like, "Yeah, sure, you hit me, but you know I'm still on you, right?" Oh, you're like, "Why on rice, boy? Check out the color of my dress." For real, like, look at the way she's moving. And then the bait is just floating in place. You think you want to? You can't swing on me. Cody's looking really good. He doesn't know how to auto auto cancel that. I'm lying. He just did it. <clears throat> but you got. You got PK Chris, a player who's loose, pretty solid when he gets some reads, you know, gets some combos too, but Cody is not really trying to play around. Not yeah, just gets a turn this night, but we're just, you know, that's the stock. Jesus Christ, man. This is looking real tough for Chris. <laughs> I have no idea what the set count between these two is, but I know, like, I look at Emporium Brax and Aeon Brax all the time. They, uh, you know, sometimes Chris wins, sometimes Cody wins, and who knows, but right now it's looking like, it's looking like Cody's game. I'm saying, it's his Looking turn. like a set, what am I saying? 
Hold on, Chris. Aye. And now it's another Asse's position. Oh, Cody messing up a little bit, but he still gets the up air. And it didn't even look like a mess up. Maybe that miss was intentional. Give him some false hope, thinking it's like, hey, yeah, you can make it backstage. Yeah. Psych, check this out. He's swinging, and, and the way he uses these up airs, they are so hard to punish, especially with Ness, a character used to being able to swing on people. Mm-hmm. It's so just a different a different beast. Oh, look at that. Great for I, I'm seeing I'm seeing too much of the classic. Hey, I'm a Ness player. I'm a side beyond the platform. Cancel it. Yep. From Chris. It's not just any kind of cancel. It's the IDJ. Yeah. It's just, you know, I, that stuff's getting punished from him. We got Chris with the classic, you know, PK flash to potentially catch a landing. But it's Peach. She got the flow. She got the, the weight. Jesus Christ. PK Chris is so fast. Look at how many buttons this man is pressing. Perfect punish on that, too. Try to go for it. Oh, no. This punish. That, that was kind of big. And Chris clawing his way back slowly. He's still at 132, though. And he's on ledge. I can't really say that like he's, you know, he's got it here. Someone's got to pray for him in the chat. Yes, he does, man. Cause, wait, hold on a second. He's really bringing this back. Yeah, he's, he's starting to. He's, he's, he's playing, you know, he on a double ledge sword at this point. That grab's not going to do it yet, but this ledge trap might just be what he needs. Oh, my Ooh. God. Oh. Or screw Damn. a ledge trap. Just die outright. That was fantastic. With the whole, what was that, a good minute of him just swinging back and keeping his position. We're going to see how much that affected Cody here. That's a turn up setup. And he had opportunity, but he drops the dare. Still managing to live, too. Nice. And he's in at least, yeah. So just that. He's still going. My God. As a PK Thunder pulls ah, through. But, yep. Cody can breathe a little bit now because that's no more rage on Ness. And honestly, Ness is a little, little rage monster, bro. Yeah. You know how kids be throwing tantrums. It's, it's just serious. <laughs> yeah, man. He said, where my mom, where my allowance at, Mom? What do you mean I got to fight monsters to get allowance? That's not how life works. <laughs> and another Thunder coming through. And you know that one's going to hit. Almost sets up for an opportunity. Uh, and first time I think we saw a side magnet. Yeah, him. I mean, the first one we saw a hit. He'd be yeah. doing the magnets to like switch up his movement and trigger, be triggered with the landings and all that. But first time I see him hit. And I know Chris has those like little magnet com What the yeah. fuck? I know he has a little magnet combos. And now it's, it's you know, Chris is being the one who's evasive this entire time. I think Cody's in too much of where he, he is and not where he's actually going to be. Yep. Here we go, bringing his game mark back. Saw a little fist bump coming out from Chris. He's of the one. It looks like he figured it out. You know what I mean? But uh, obviously, you still got a whole game to be like, all right, this is why I lost. I'm going to bring it back. It's Chris really just started playing around, putting out his own baits a little bit more, mm -hmm. and being a bit more deceptive. That's all it really took. A little small bracket update. Uh, Ranger is out. Lost to Pango, game three. He is now playing Slingshot. I wonder if that plays Bobo. Yep. ZT, uh, ZT and G Extreme happening too. Yeah, it finished actually. G Extreme taking a game three. Yeah, he. he I don't know. I'll, I'll just talk about after the afterwards. Thing. Right now yeah, we, we got will. a 52% strain coming through from Cody. And he's looking to keep it going with that ledge. And we're on Hollow Bastion. This is one of those stages where Chris ain't going to have room. To rest when he's on the ledge. Like, no platform to trick it up, but he does Ooh. get the whole center a Wait, lot better. That was such a good read. Able to get those big combos through a little yippee. Yeah, he, he's living the tag right now. I mean, is it a dead even game? And this is a dangerous thing, right? Yeah, he doesn't have class to deal with on the on the ledge, but now he has it in the center. Ooh, that one. That was a very tough grab. Not grab out, just forward there. But Chris still just coming through, swinging and applying a little bit of mix-up pressure. Trying to just, just like. He like he gets a hit and then he just waits to see how Cody reacts to him getting smacked. Like, are you gonna run? You gonna sit and shield? You gonna air dodge? Yeah. At this point, we're give just, him something. We're just looking to see like, oh, oh okay. Yeah. That good, yep. Both of them swinging an air out of shield, but obviously Peach. Right, honestly, that's a good trade. You're not, you're not gonna feel the whole thing, but these platforms are gonna be a menace unless Cody has something to say about it. These upper versions, you know, he wants the upbeat. Mm -hmm. We're playing a little bit disciplined today. Still gets so much, 80%, and he's lapping him at this point. Yeah, man, almost a full, full lap right now. Right around the track. Very difficult right now for Chris to even get anything started. All he just needs is one kill. It's looking like how, like, literally all three games have been starting out just like this. Cody putting on a clinic of damage, and Chris unable to really do anything. Looking like a boy lost in Walmart. Yeah, and at this point, you know, we get to see Cody's able to ledge into flat camp at center. Mm -hmm. While walling Chris out in the corner, 
And that's what's allowing these ledge traps to continue. And just get the last latest hit he could with that strong hit dash tag. And this, this is not poised to be a three stock, but at least it is a three to one stock position. As of right now, yeah. And from the way Cody is moving around and moving and grooving, dare I say, he is, oh my God. All right, fine. Never mind. I'm alive. I, th I thought it would be a uh, kill for Chris. And a good good awareness. You can tell this to play a lot as no air dodge or nothing out of that. Oh, only a part of the fair hit now. And of course, Cody aware. Of oh my gosh. He is, he is saying this phrase is getting on a lot of these multi-hit moves in this situation. Definitely should. Very unsurprised. Very surprised to be seeing an up air instead of like you know back air or something. Still unable to get this kill. This stage is looking. This stage is huge. All right, fine. Putting something on the board. Yeah. At this point, Cody not even opting to get a turn up on the board. He just knows he needs to do his little bread and butters. His game plan is working out fine. At this point, you know, oh, it's a little bit scary, and Peach Bomber's right in. No fear, especially when you got the stocks to play with. You know you're pulling up. Yes, indeed. I don't know if, like, Chris was looking for, like, an air dodge or something like that. So he's looking a lot more, like, alive than I would say in the beginning of the games. For sure. You know, the way he's taking, the way he's taking on the damage is catching on a little bit more of uh, Cody's defensive options. Yeah, and, I, and at this point, it's really all about, you know, just one interaction right here, right? Like, you're at the ledge. You are Ness. You can be really just lose everything right here. Yes, you but can. If that you get the center stage. Oh, like that. Very ballsy read for Chris. I don't know if that was a little misspace on the uh, what's on the on the up smash. But what are you able to cleanly get that punish? Right back throw. That might be a stock. Yeah. Even game rage on a Ness. You know I'm counting Chris a little bit out. I, there. Nah, I, I'm not. He brought. He was literally down like three stocks to one, and then he still brought it to the last stock situation. Now, the, oh, why not? A little, last not little and action. That's cameo, all that's she it. wrote. Yep. No percentage. Wow. <laughs> that's the winner's for you. Another little upset, uh, but definitely didn't look like it. You that, know, 